Yeah, welcome to a little digression in Raspberry on a boat. Um, last time we said we want to get rid of an external router. We want to make our Raspberry an own access point. So we will install today DNS mask uh, that helps to uh, use the Raspberry as a DHCP and DNS server. <coughs> and we will also install host APD to get the access point functionality uh, like WPA2 authentication. We will define a static IP address for the Raspberry and afterwards we can uh, use clients to connect on our new access point. Let's go. server and something which can provide DHCP IP addresses. We will use DNS mask. So let's install with apt-get um, DNS mask. Yep. So this is DNS mask. This will work as a DHCP server. will hand over IP addresses if a client comes in and also work as a DNS server. We need to configure this. So there is a file um, which we need to access now. We will use nano and the file is etc dns mask config. Yeah, the configuration is quite easy. It's just three rows, but the file is <laughs> damn long. So there's a lot of examples and possibilities in which we don't need. Um, you can delete the file and create an empty one, but I prefer to use this file to have the examples above. So we are looking for the line interface, this one, and we specify the first wireless interface. And the specification means on this interface, we want to listen for DHCP and DNS. And we will accept the normal Ethernet interface. This has a simple reason. If we want to connect this at home to get the external internet, for example, or the normal uh, intranet, um, we don't want uh, to uh, yeah, use the DNS, and neither we want to offer DHCP addresses on this interface. So that's already uh, half of it. Just one thing is missing, and this is the DHCP space. Where is it? So as I said, it's a long, there's the range. So we remove this one, and we need to decide which IP address range do we want to offer. Um, let's take 1050 to 1050. This is not important and we should define a time of let's say 24 hours and you can also put the subnet mask at this point if you like to so that we already have subnet mask uh, specified as well so um by the way so this is the ip address from the dhcp server for the clients the the static IP of the Raspberry needs still to be configured. That's not done yet. Right. By the way, below there is one example with uh, the net mask given. So um, that's what we did. Okay, we save and we exit. Okay, um, we can now already edit the DHCPD. So the configuration of our own address so of the Raspberry itself, dhcpcd conf. Oh, nano, nano is missing, of course. And we uh, will open another configuration file which is already existing. And also here you see a lot of examples. And we will already use one. Here's, for example, one for the Ethernet uh, zero port and so on. And let's take uh, the last one and we will set the interface. Or maybe that's a fallback configuration. We can take the one above so that we use this one. So that's, we want to define the wireless LAN 
configuration. We want to set a static IP address and let's take 10 and oh, one. Oh, one is okay. So that's our own address and we can or should maybe um, that's an, an option which you can set. I will just put it below this one now. Uh, tell the system not to hook on the v, uh, WPA supplicant. So that's a Linux program which is used for the authentication method. And that's something which you want to do now with the host APD. All right, so let's save. Exit. Does it look good? We will check this later again. All right, let's now install host APD. Um, that is a program which uh, host APD. Oh, sorry, host APD. I can't speak and think at the same time as you can see. So host APT it takes over the access point functionality. That means uh, authentication. If you want to use your pass phrase and SSID to connect to the network. So that's basically what host APD is doing. So again, a sudo nano command. It's again the etc folder host APD host, a host APD conf. So I will accelerate this a bit because this content can differ a little bit. We will now generate an empty file and set this later as the master file. We will uh, define the wireless LAN as our um, access point interface. The driver is the one for the Raspberry uh, 4. They are different existing, but if you use the internal wireless LAN, this driver is uh, the right one. You need to define an SSID, of course. You can choose any channel, take a look which is empty. Country code is important. If you set this one, you should use Raspi config as well uh, to change to the correct country. Otherwise, you will get an error message. We will take a look at this as well. Uh, G is the wireless mode and here are some configurations which might differ but you should of course use um, WPA2 and a passphrase I don't know I take one two three four five six seven eight nine now um, but uh, that's the usual passphrase and um, here are some different configurations existing you will find plenty in the internet you can take mine you can take another one uh, usually most of those will work all right, that's our configuration. Um, let's set this as the default. So again, we use the nano, we use the etc default and host apd. And on this file here, on this line, we will tell the program to use the host apd host apd conf so that's the one which we generated usually copy and paste is better so that you don't make mistakes i hope i did spell everything correct now we are saving this and now this file the new file which we did uh, generate is working it is important because host apd is running to start the system control and unmask host apd once at least if you spell it correctly system system control unmask and of course enable it again And what we also did last time, to put both on a service. So we will put both on a service, the DNS mask and on the service table and the host APD. So you should reboot now and uh, after reboot um, we can check the status that's important let's take the service and status all to see what 
services are running. And you see on my system now, DNS mask is running as well as Kplex, which we need and host APD. So on my system, everything is running now, but on some systems, uh, especially host APD might fail. Some important commands. So first of all, you can um, stop and start the service with start and stop command and the service command um, and the service name. So another test and we will see that now apd host apd is stopped and when you start host apd now manually we can see some error messages here so let's restart the service um, however when you start the service there might be an error message and it might say take a look into the logs there is a better way to get detailed error messages so i will stop again and now I will use the host apd command itself and you need to tell host apd which configuration file it shall use and remember we created this file in this folder and when I start this one I get some interesting messages and this is really important to find the errors so I see um, their country update thing is working this is always uh, an issue what might come when you start it like this but it's still working however when you get an error message regarding the country so after this message there is an error you should abort and start raspy config and set uh, the uh, not interface where is it i think it's in the localization options the wireless lan country so the wi-fi country this must be set so that this is working otherwise there might be this error and this must of course also fit to our um ah, didn't change now anything it um must also fit to our config file here so here we did set the same country which must be set for the raspberry otherwise you get this error message so that's one of the most common error messages which is usually occurring um, if you use this command this is like a non-service mode now so this must be active to work now we would see the wireless LAN let's take a look and indeed we see our AIS that's uh, is our SSID test um, with the additional note that internet is not available just a command on that in this tutorial we will not take a look how to boot the internet this is just for the access point DNS DHCP so that's another one um, but it's there we can connect however on the right side we still have the uh, service open or not a service the APT the host APD program so when I abort this it will take some seconds but then I will lose my network because it's not running and if you would restart you would lose your network so when everything is working so when you did this test here you should should start the service again so now you saw maybe that on the left side my um, uh, network my test network was uh, vanishing so because it uh, it's inactive I will start now again the service which would also happen after reboot and after some seconds we will see also the wireless network again on our search list here and there we go so you can connect now everything is working that's it for setting up um, the network access point and DHCP DNS servers Last remark for that. So we did this in our tutorial row Raspberry on a boat. However, this is of course working as I said at the beginning also for any other uh, situation where you need an access point. What is not included up to now is to forward the internet access which the Raspberry might have to the users of the wireless LAN. That's another story um, step by step, you know. Okay, thanks for listening and watching and uh, have a good day. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.